a child, I was very interested in astronomy. However, most gadgets and gizmos were out of my budget range. I always wanted to see for myself the galaxies and stars that are out there. However, I never got a chance to do that. So now, in TI, uh, using the platform that is provided here, I built for myself a star tracker. A few months ago, when a colleague of mine showed fabulous pictures of Jupiter and its different moons, I wanted to do the same using the equipment that I had, and not very expensive equipment. So a typical star tracker system uh, is available for around $1,000 in the market. Whereas here I've built something for less than 200. The star tracker is based on a silo stat, which is basically a two mirror system. The first mirror is rotating about a couple of axes perpendicular to each other. And the fixed mirror directs the light to a camera. The rotating mirror needs to rotate to compensate for the speed of rotation of the Earth so that the image of the star is constant. The rotation is done by two motors, a stepper motor controlling the rotation from east to west, which moves at a very, very slow rate. And the DC motor controls the rotation along the perpendicular axis. The mirror is mounted on an equatorial mount so that the stepper motor can counteract the relative motion of the Earth. I have used TI Beagle Bone platform to do all the calculations and computations. For final control, there is a joystick provided and a display is used to look at coordinates and also for calibration. The Beagle Bone platform interfaces with a Stellarium software or an app remotely over a wireless LAN interface. So this allows us to remotely go to a particular star or planet that is shown in the software. The software provides a graphical means of selecting a star and even go to the star which is not visible by the naked eye. So for example here, when I select Altair and press Ctrl 1, the telescope moves to point to that particular star. So now the telescope is pointing to Altair. Change the world and love your job.